Hi everybody today i will show you how to use zoho assist so let's begin okay so first of all let me just write down the zoho assist in the google search okay so as you can see here we have this zoho.com and we have this assist okay so i will just simply click on this and you will be able to see the landing page of the zoho assist here okay so now what we need to do so i have already created an account in the zoho assist so i will simply click on the sign in here okay so here i will simply sign in with my gmail account so let's click on the gmail here All right, so as you can see here, we are inside the dashboard of the Zoho Assist. Okay, so what can we do with the Zoho Assist? The main things that you can do with the Zoho Assist is that you can access the remote screen or you can share your own screen uh, with the customer's email. Okay, and you can create the meetings here. Okay, you can create the meetings and the webinar and you can also explore the features of the Zoho meeting which is that you can schedule the meeting you can do the chat in the meeting you can have the polls you can have the whiteboard you can also schedule the webinar and we can have the emojis reaction and the virtual background and picture in a picture okay so let's just skip this okay so from here you can actually create the meeting and it could be the audio conference or the video conference and from here you can actually broadcast your webinar so now let's just go back to the remote support here because I want to use these features of the Zoho Assist. Okay, so how can we access the remote screen? All right. Okay, so first of all, let me just exit from the uh, full screen mode. And I just give it a half space here. And I want to open up my another browser. I actually want to use the Chrome here. All right. So as you can see here, we have these two different browsers. Okay, so in the Chrome, I will actually use the Zoho Assist. And click on the login here. Okay, so I have the two accounts on the Soho Assist, the one that I have signed in in the Mozilla and the second one that I will be using in the Chrome. Okay, so with these two accounts, I will be able to use the remote screen of one account from another and in the similar way, I can share my screen to another account. So you get the idea here. Okay, so first of all, let me just sign in here. Uh, sign in with the Google. And here I'm actually using the different email. Okay, so so the account that I'm using in the Chrome is actually the different account that I am using in the Mozilla. So both of these browsers have a different account. Okay, all right. So I want to access the remote screen of this uh, account. So how can I do that? Okay, so first of all, I need to write down the customer email address whose remote screen I want to access. So let me just write down. Okay, so we have this email here. Okay, so this is the email that I am using in this uh, Zoho account. Okay, so let's just click on the start now. And as you can see that this would actually send the invitation to this email. Okay, that we are logging in our Chrome account. So let's just go to the Gmail here. And you will be able to see this notifications. Okay, so as you can see here, we have this invitation email. So let's open up the email that is sent six minutes ago because I have already used it before. So let's click on this email and you will be able to see the invitation here that I have initiated a remote support session to assess you better. So please join my session by clicking the below link and follow the instruction. Okay, so now let's just click on the join session here. All right, so now let's click on open the Zoho Assist and now you have to give the permissions and this would actually initiate the session let's click on the join and now you can see here I have remotely accessed the screen of this account here okay so I'm actually using the two accounts so you get the idea here so let's click on here and I want to go with this screen here and as you can see that we have this screen Alright, so let's click on this screen because I want to use this screen. Okay, so as you can see here, I have simply accessed the screen remotely. Alright, so let's just open up something here. 
and I can use the pictures. I can do anything here in the remote screen. All right, so now you can see that this is how we can access the remote screen using the Zoho Assist. So now let me just add the session here. Okay, so do you want to leave the session? Yes. And this would actually end the session here. All right, so let's end the session. And as you can see that we have the session duration of two minutes and 45 seconds. And let's close this and let's open up our accounts here so let's just close this again and go back to our initial setup okay so this is how you can access the remote screen okay so what if i want to share my screen so the process is actually the same you just have to click on the share my screen and you have to write down the email of the customer uh whom you want to share your screen with so i will simply write down the same email here because as we know that we are using this account in the chrome browser here so let's click on the star now all right so let's click on the yes here and this would actually initiate the session okay so here as you can see here that i can simply join in the session by clicking on the join button but let me just explain to you what do we have on this mozilla uh, web page okay so we have sent the invitation to the vector files okay so that is the email that we are using in the chrome in our soho assist okay so the second thing is that when you try to access the remote screen or you want to share your screen for the first time you would need to install their software just by clicking on the download and it will download the software and it will automatically uh, start sharing the session uh, as you can see that now i can simply join the session by clicking on the join here i hope you got the idea so i just want to share this screen Oh, my first screen so let's click on the share okay but right now the thing is that I haven't joined from my another account so let's go back to the email here and inbox and now you can see the notifications here and now you can see that we have this invitation to join the session so let's click on the join and from here you will be able to watch the screen in this account that we have used in the Chrome because we are actually sharing the account uh, from this account that we have in the mozilla okay so as you can see here we have this screen share here and the customer has joined okay so that is how you can actually share your screen here so let's click on this and you will be able to see that i have shared my screen here and i can do whatever i want to show to my customer and this is it and this is how you can actually share the screen with your uh, customer or the client so now let's just end the session here all right click on the end so now let's go back to our mozilla account here because we don't need this account right now so let's close this and open this here close the session all right uh, okay so now let's just explore the other options here really quickly and we have the unattended access so if you want to have the remote access without the need for your customer to be present and the other end what you need to do you need to set up the unattended access uh, on the report device all right so now we have the tools here and you can explore these diagnostic tools here and we also have the deployment and you can actually do the deployment in different ways as you can see here we can do the deployment here in the distributor deployment link and group policy object in tune and sccm azure and the native tool and we have the domains and we have the managed devices but right now we don't have any device we have the dashboard and as you can see here we have these different ways of uh, deployment and in the end we have the settings here and so in the settings we have the groups we have the session confirmation we have the VAC online and the proxy so now let's go into the meeting Okay, so as you can see here that we have the option of the meeting and the webinar so you can create the meeting from here and you can actually organize a webinar from here. So let's just go into the meetings and here you will have the list of the meetings that you had in the past or that you will have in the future or you have a schedule in the future. Okay, and in the similar way we have the webinar and we have this calendar and here we have the files that we have uploaded on our Zoho Assist and we can simply uh, share these files with our uh, attendees while during the meeting. 
we also have the analytics okay so now let's just explore the AR assistance all right so in the AR assistant it would actually provide you the real-time remote assistant by accessing the customers mobile camera okay so you can start from here and you will have the reports here and you will have the files here and you will have the settings here and in the end we have the reports where you will actually have all the data of that how many sessions to have done so we have done the two sessions and what is the duration of the session uh, technician by the session count or technician by the session duration and the service queue and the live report and we have same report for the unattended access and the dial up reports and the custom reports okay so this is how you can use the zoho assist and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel